Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and in this video I'm going to show you a piece of equipment that's really going to help improve the quality, or I should say, stability of your videos. Now a lot of people nowadays use DSLRs to capture video and what I've got here is a Sakuto striker and this is like a shoulder camera rig for your DSLR camera. Now you could use it for a video camera as well but it's really designed for use with a DSLR. Now before I show you the actual product I want to show you that inside the box you do get some really decent instructions and this shows you all of the parts you're going to get included and how to put it all together. So we we'll put that to one side and I want to give you a closer look at the product. So here we go, this is the Sakuto Striker. Now this part portion here is for putting against your shoulder. I'm going to show you me using it in a short while. We've got a platform here where you're going to put your camera and this can be mounted on either side. You can see here we've got a rod going across the front. This is held into place by this sort of clasp here and we can use these little red turning portions to adjust everything on the rig. So for example, this one here, if I just hold this, I can actually loosen this one off and that loosens this portion here and I can move it in and out. I can angle it at different angles and then I can tighten it back up so that it's nice and secure. Now if I didn't want this on the left hand side, I could move this completely over to the right hand side and swap the handle position as well. Now I want to show you this handle before I mount the camera on the uh, Sakuto striker and if I loosen this off we've got like a ball joint mechanism in the handle and this is fantastic because this means I can get the exact right angle on the handle to make it comfortable to hold. Let's just tighten that back up in that position. And all of these, just to show you, we've got adjustment here as well, adjustment here, so you can move absolutely everything around to really suit how you want to use the product. So now let me show you this with the camera mounted on it. So I'm going to grab my 60D and just put this on my lap here. And we've got a little screw mount, so the tripod screw mount goes into the bottom of the camera, like so. And you really should tighten this up with a screwdriver to make sure that it's uh, nice and secure. But I'm going to use the power of my fingers to get this on here and hope that I do it tight enough. There we go, that should be okay for this video. So you really should tighten this up properly. And then we've got the camera mounted on the Sakuto Striker, as you can see here. Now, the idea behind this is that normally I would be holding the camera like this with both hands. I'd be focusing with uh, this wheel here or this sort of focus wheel and it would, it would take up two hands. Now the idea behind the striker is that I'm going to place this against my shoulder, pull it in nice and tight and then I've got a nice steady rig for moving the camera like so. And I can open up this screen so I can have my normal screen or I could have an additional monitor mounted on the striker. I could put a monitor perhaps on here and I can move around and I've got a real steady platform for my camera. It leaves this hand completely free so once I've hit that record button on the camera I've got this hand free for focusing and zooming. Now I will be expanding this system, let me just move that screen out of the way, I'll be expanding this to include both a viewfinder, also supplied by Sakuto, and also a defocus system as well. I'm going to try and mount that somehow onto this rig so that I'll be actually focusing with the defocus system rather than using this ring here. And that should feel a lot more natural and allow me to get a lot smoother sort of um, pull focuses into the shots. So just to recap, this is the Sakuto Striker. It's going to cost you around about £635 in the UK, around about $855 in the US. It's not cheap by any means, 
but it is a real professional piece of kit. I just want to show you that once more. So you're really pulling this in to your shoulder and it allows you to just keep things super, super steady. So whilst I'm out and about walking with this, you can really sort of move with the camera and it takes a lot of the weight as well. So you're not really struggling holding it and it allows this hand to be free for that, that focus maneuver or zooming in and out and obviously uh, adjusting the controls on your camera as well. So there we go guys and girls, the Zakuto Striker. I think it's a fantastic product, it's very well engineered and I'll be showing you a lot more of this in future videos. Thanks very much for watching, this has been Dave from Geekanoids, please do hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.